Okay, let me see if I can help you guys a little bit with reading these probability word problems. Um, there's kind of a secret to it, so let me see what I can do to help you out. And this is question number 62 on page 156, um, but I've reproduced it here. We have an internet company located in Southern California that has season tickets to the LA Lakers basketball games. Uh, the president it always invites one of the four VPs to attend the games, there's a typo, with him, and he claims he selects the person to attend at random. But one of these four guys has never been invited to attend any of the last five games. So what we're looking for is what is the likelihood that this could be due to chance. All right, let's take a look how, I'm, how I would recommend that you work this problem. All right, so the way I'm always going to start is I want to find out, I wanna, I've got to read the problem, figure out what are they asking me for the probability of, chance of, likelihood of. So when I read through the problem, I'm not even going to look at the numbers. Don't even look at the numbers. Just figure out what am I trying to figure out the probability of. Well, it says what is the likelihood that this is due to chance? Well, this right here. Can you see where what we're, what the issue is, is that one of these four VPs has never been invited to attend any of the last five Laker home games. Don't want to care, don't care about the numbers yet. Just try and figure out what are they asking me for in terms of chance, likelihood, or probability. So, number one, identify kind of the object of your affection. All right, now that we've done this, let's move on to dealing with the number part. All right, so we have determined that what we're looking for is the probability that it's simply by chance. <coughs> Sorry about that, that was my dog Wanda letting me know there was someone at the door. All right, so once we figured out what we want or looking for the probability of, now what I've got to figure out is what do I know? So now is, when, now is when I'm going to go back through this problem and I'm going to start picking out numbers. Right? So, first number is, company president always invites one of the four vice presidents to attend the game. Right? So, one of the four has not been invited to attend any of the last five Laker games, right? So we have two numbers. We know we have four vice presidents. We know we have five home Lakers games. What we care about is this one poor guy who keeps get left, getting left at home. So let's translate this one guy, one out of four vice presidents, and the five Lakers games into something that makes some kind of sense. All right, so this is what I know. Now I know that with four vice presidents to choose from, there's a 25% chance that any one individual will get picked. Hopefully that makes sense. If there are four of us, if there are four people that can be chosen, 25% chance that any one individual is going to be picked and there were five games where he had a chance of getting picked to go. So what we really end up with is we end up with the probability of success, or P, is 0.25. Right? And what we end up with is when we look at X, we're looking at the number of trials and so the number of trials was five, and we want to see what is the probability or the number of times he got picked is equal to zero. So that's one way to look at it, if you're big into that. But there's also a pretty common sense, don't get stressed out about these formulas approach, and that's what I want to show you. Okay. The first Lakers game, game comes, and we're going to call him Bob. Bob gets left at home. Well, if there's a 25% chance he was going to go, then there's a 75% chance that he didn't get to go. 
And the second game comes along, and since there's only a 25% chance he could go, there's a 75% chance he didn't. And now the third game comes, and he still gets that lousy 75% chance that he didn't get picked. And the fourth game comes, because remember, this guy says that he chooses them at random, so it doesn't matter who went last time, each game is a new opportunity to sit next to the big boss at the Lakers game. So now four games in a row, he hasn't been picked. We come up to game five, boom, 75% probability happens. He doesn't get picked. So 0.75 all five times is equal to the probability that Bob stayed home. The other thing that you should know by now, I hope, is that any time that we have an AND, any time that I have an AND in a probability, I take that AND out and I multiply. So everywhere you see AND, that becomes multiply. So 0.75 times 0.75 times 0.75 times 0.75 times 0.75. What does that give me? It tells me that once I do the math, that the probability that Bob stayed home all five games by chance is 0 0.2373. So, is it likely that it could be due to chance? Well, the underlying probability is that there's a 25% chance he'll be picked. He's gotten, there's a 23 or almost 24% probability that he didn't get picked. I'd say it's close enough that Bob doesn't have to think the boss doesn't like him. I think he's just got crummy luck. So, it isn't always so much about looking at the problem and determining what formula do I need as going through these steps. Is to say, number one, what are they asking me to find? Then, what do I know? And then taking that final step, not so much applying a formula as it is the theory behind the probability to then reason out in your mind, out loud, or on a piece of scrap paper, what we need to do in order to come up with that final answer of 0.2373. Um, I'll see what else I can do for you guys. In the meantime, I hope this helped.